Hey, Rapido Nation, Jeremy again. I know you've been seeing a lot of me lately and uh, sorry about that, but you know, when I rain, I pour. Going forward, we're gonna try and have a little bit more diversity in our on-screen talent, so uh, just hold tight. Before I go on, if I could uh, encourage you to once again, smash that subscribe button and that like button, that'll uh, go a long way to uh, making sure that you are instantly informed whenever some of our top-notch content goes online. Everybody wins. And with the formalities out of the way, let's get right to it. Do you have wood right now on your layout that needs to be moved? Well, Rapido Trains is proud to present the 73-foot NSC center beam flat car in HO scale. Excuse me a minute, I have to um, go into the product suggestion form and inform these corporate hose heads that N-Scale is in fact a thing and that it requires stuff. This just in. No, 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 we're not sitting through that again. Guys, do you have just a little bit of wood right now on your layout that needs to be moved around? Well, guess what? We're also releasing the NSC 73 foot center beam flat car in N scale. That's right, one product, two scales. The HO scaler in me appreciates the quality and attention to detail that Rapido is known for, but the N scaler in me loves that we can put a whole layout on a door. The 73-foot center beam flat car was introduced in the mid-1980s as a high-capacity car for carrying lumber and other building materials. Able to carry loads of up to 200,000 pounds, one car can replace up to four trucks. Our model is based on those built by National Steel Car between 1987 and 2006, and we've included many of the different variations produced over that span. The HO car features three different top truss styles, early open Z or Z pattern, as well as two solid versions with and without tie-down brackets. There are two different deck configurations, with and without risers, as well as different ratchet orientations. There are two different fully detailed underbodies, as well as multiple end cage and brake stand varieties, and multiple truck options. The end scale car is similarly detailed with two top truss configurations, either open or solid with tie-down brackets, decks with and without risers, two different and possibly detailed underframes, and also different end cages and brake stands, as well as multiple truck options. And because this is the 21st century, all of our end scale models will have body mounted couplers and low profile metal wheel sets. Both HO and N will feature the same paint schemes in this run, including many of the more common road names seen across North America over the past 35 years. If you're a modern modeler, this is the stuff. So there it is, pretty big news for both HO and N scales. This is particularly exciting for us N scalers because we've only ever had one 73 foot center beam option over the years, which has been long out of production and are currently going for extortionate prices on eBay. We just put an end to that. We now go live to those eBay gougers as they currently liquidate the remaining inventories after seeing this announcement. And with a dual scale release, I think pretty much everybody will be a happy camper today, particularly on the forums. Actually, let's log into one of the forums right now and just see all the positivity. All right. I, uh... I stand corrected. 